Hi, I'm Mike Matre, your host of Healthcare Matters, where the medical and legal communities come together to discuss healthcare matters. Today's guest is Whit Johnson. Whit is a shareholder with Curry, Johnson, Griffin, and Myers in Jackson, Mississippi. Welcome to the program, Whit. Thanks. Uh, glad to be here. A recent Rand Corp American Medical Society study called for a complete design overhaul of electronic medical records to improve usability. If you had the opportunity to advise an EMR company on a redesign of its products, what changes would most benefit the defensibility of a medical liability claim? You know, the, the primary thing I think most defense lawyers would tell you is that we knew, need to do away with the template, templates that, that, are, that so, are so ubiquitous now. The interesting thing is that doctors have always used templates, even even before EMR. You can look at uh, you can take a surgeon's uh, op reports from five similar surgeries, and they will be almost identical with just minor changes. So they were using templates in their mind, uh, even if they weren't created. Uh, and I don't know that we will ever get fully away from from the templates, but I think the the thing that bothers me more than than that is the or the drop down boxes so often the drop down boxes don't include what they need to include there really needs to be one for for other and the doctors need to pay attention and use that other box uh, as often as often as is as it is applicable I, I would also like to see a situation where you aren't required to click on every box uh, you know, on the uh, uh, history and physical, the physical exam, a lot of times these doctors have to click on every separate system um, without regard to whether it has anything to do with that particular patient's uh, issues that they're, they're seeing the doctor for. So I'd like to see a situation where the only thing that a doctor clicks are the pertinent negatives. Um, and, and then finally, one of the things that I would love to see happen I would love to see a situation in which the patient is part of the electronic medical record. I know that sounds funny, but I would love to see a situation where when the patient goes into the doctor's office, you sit them at a computer and they fill out things. They type in what their chief complaint was. They type in the medicines they're on. They type in if they have anything else going on. And then that goes into the chart. And, it, and if you're not going to set it up electronically, then get them to fill out out, get them to fill out every time they come in why they're there, what's going on with them, do they have any other problems, what other doctors are they seeing, and then scan that into the EMR. And, and that way, when I'm defending a case, I've got the patient's own words describing the history. Excellent. Well, Whit, thank you for joining us today on Healthcare Matters, and I hope to talk to you again soon. Sounds good. I hope this helped. Thank you. Electronic medical records audit log and access log can be an Achilles heel when defending a medical malpractice claim. Can you explain the audit access log to our viewers, how plaintiff counsel can exploit it, and how a healthcare professional can avoid these specific pitfalls when using an electronic medical record? <laughs> 